Has this ever happened to you? Your bike wouldn't start? Well, nobody wants to be that guy, and now you don't have to. Hi, I'm Bruce from SNS Cycle, and I'm here to tell you how to get your motor running every time with SNS Easy Start Cams for $19.99 and later Harley Davidson Big Twins. A lot of the things we do to make our engines faster also make them harder to start. Big bore kits and stroker kits increase the engine's displacement. High compression pistons, as you might have guessed, increase the compression ratio. Increasing displacement and or compression make it harder to turn your engine while starting, so your starter has a tougher job. But not to worry. These patented SNS Easy Start cams have built-in centrifugally operated compression releases that make hard starting obsolete. The SNS Easy Start cams were originally developed for the proprietary SNS X Wedge engine. That's because the X Wedge exhaust cams have plenty of room for this special compression release mechanism. Once we had proved the concept in the X Wedge, it didn't take long to adapt it to the Harley Davidson Twin Cam 88 engine, and of course, it carries over to the 96, 103, 110, and 120 R engines as well. Unfortunately, there's not room enough for the mechanism in earlier big twin cams or cams for Sportster models. So, how does this thing work? This easy start trigger mechanism is the key to the whole thing. The trigger is a centrifugally operated device that sits in this position when the cam is at rest or at low RPM that would normally be encountered when the engine is being started. That's usually around 400 RPM at the crank, but since the cam turns at one half the speed of the engine, it's about 200 RPM at the cam. Located on the heel of the exhaust cam lobe on both cams is this little trigger ramp. It extends just above the surface of the cam lobe when the counterweight is down. As the cam turns, the trigger ramp bumps the tappet just a little, which opens the exhaust valve just slightly and very briefly to bleed off a little bit of compression. The result is that with less compression, the starter can easily turn the engine over until it starts. Here's the cool part. When the engine starts and the RPM increases, centrifugal force pulls the counterweight up, which retracts the trigger ramp below the surface of the cam lobe. With the trigger retracted, the tappet rolls normally on the cam and the engine runs with full compression. When the engine is shut off, the trigger goes back down to the original position, ready for the next start. Let's see how that actually looks. We've built this unit to demonstrate how the system works. An easy start cam is driven by an electric motor. We can control the speed with this controller. We have the cam spinning at 200 RPM, which is typical starting RPM. Remember, the cam runs at one half engine speed. Note that the trigger ramp is protruding above the surface of the heel of the cam. Now we increase the RPM of the cam to about 500, which is what the cam would be turning when the engine is idling at 1000 RPM. The counterweight is up and the trigger ramp is retracted. The engine would now be running normally. Okay, enough theory. Let's see how that works in the real world. This bike has one of our T124 engines in it, but with regular SNS 640 cams without the Easy Start compression release. We've had the battery charger on it, so the battery is fully charged. Let's start it up. It's having a really hard time of it. My guess is that you'd want to park this bike on a big hill, and that starter's days are numbered. Let's replace these regular 640 cams with SNS 640 Easy Start cams. Same engine, same cam grind, the only difference is that these are Easy Start cams. Now let's see how this thing starts with Easy Start cams. Want to see that again? How about one more? Pretty amazing, huh? That's why Easy Start cams are standard equipment in all T-Series engines and in all SNS hot setup kits for Harley-Davidson Twin Cam 88, 96, and 103 engines. The fact is, we could keep doing this all day and it would keep starting. Don't believe me? Let me prove it. After all, proven performance is the SNS company motto. No brag, just fact. 
The reason I can speak so confidently is that we've already done the testing. We know this to be true. During the development of the Easy Start cams, we cooked up this little gizmo to repeatedly start a motorcycle over and over without any adult supervision, 24-7. It's magic. We've got better things to do than sit here all day starting and restarting this motorcycle, but we needed to do it to prove that the Easy Start system worked and to test the durability of the components. Well, the Easy Start cams worked even better than we expected. The bike would start up and shut down every minute for the whole day and not run down the battery. That's because the Easy Start cam significantly reduced the drain on the battery. I can tell you it drove some people a little nuts to have this bike starting up all by itself all day long. Kind of gets on your nerves if you know what I mean. This went on for weeks with several motorcycles. We had a couple of bikes with over 20,000 starts on them and what we learned was pretty amazing. The reduction in battery drain was great, but when we tore down the cam chest for inspection, we found almost nowhere on the easy start mechanism. It makes sense when you think about it. This thing really doesn't move very much. When the engine starts, this counterweight moves about a half an inch to this position. Then it just stays there until the engine is shut off. That's it. A lot of people were skeptical about a cam with moving parts that could wear out. But, since they don't actually move much, they don't wear out. But we did the test and we proved that it's really not an issue. Our test showed that this mechanism can handle over 20,000 starts. Let's put that into perspective. Let's say your average ride is 50 miles. 20,000 starts would take you a million miles. I could be wrong, but I think a whole lot of other stuff is going to wear out way before you hit a million miles. There are a couple of special considerations that you should be aware of. Not a big deal, just an FYI. You may hear a click at startup and when you shut your engine down. That's okay, it's the trigger mechanism moving from one position to the other. It's just the normal noises in here. When you're adjusting push rods with easy start cams, you need to make sure that the tappet is not on the easy start trigger. Simply turn the engine until you see the tappet rise and settle about 30 thousandths of an inch. You're still on the heel of the cam, just not on the easy start trigger. Easy start cams allow a stock starter and battery to turn any engine over, regardless of displacement or compression ratio, but there are some factors to keep in mind. One factor is that most late model fuel injection modules, or more accurately, electronic control modules, are programmed not to fire the spark plugs if there isn't a certain amount of cranking compression present. For this reason, easy start cams are recommended for specific engine sizes and compression ratios to ensure that there is enough compression so that the ECM won't put the kibosh on your fun. Just putting a long duration cam in a low compression engine will lower the cranking compression. Add to that the reduction in compression from easy start cams and you may not be able to start your engine. I hate it when that happens. Another thing to keep in mind is that easy start cams only affect cranking compression. Once the engine starts, the trigger is retracted and the engine runs with full compression. That means if you install a short duration cam in a very high compression engine, starting isn't going to be a problem, but that engine is just as likely to have detonation problems as it would with the standard style cams. Easy Start cams have a lot to recommend them. Installation is just like any other cam. You don't need anything extra to make them work. You don't have any machining to do. You don't have to do any wiring. They're automatic, no buttons to push, no knobs to pull, and the wear and tear you save on your starter and battery is well worth a slight difference in price. But the greatest benefit is that they won't leave you stranded. That's why we say that Easy Start cams made hard starting obsolete. Mm -hmm.